This video is the property of MBKP International LLC. Uh, in this demonstration, we're going to show you how to actually um, use our heat press machine to transfer an image onto a cup. Um, just so you know, these are sublimation cups and the paper is a special paper and also the ink is a special ink. You will need to buy these from any uh, print store or ink shop or you can buy it off the internet. But for now, we're just going to take the paper, wrap it around here going to hold it here. This is our um, machine that we're selling in our eBay store. And um, th basically this is a five-in-one machine. You can actually do t-shirts. You can see the cup. And you also see where we got two different plate presses and also a baseball cap press. Um, let's start off by turning on this machine. I'll show you how it kind of like works. When you first turn it on, it's going to start heating up to the last setting that you had it on. I'm going to hit the mode once. I'm going to go to the set where we do the start temperature basically and you can go up or down with that, whatever you need to. Um, we're going to set this one at 340. Then you hit this button again. I'm, I'm sorry, the move button again. And then we're going to set the temperature, the, the final temperature where, we, where we're going to start our countdown. And you can here again, you can go up or down here. We're going to have the final temperature be at 355. Then we're going to hit our mode button again to set our time. And here again, you go up and down with the time. We're going to set the time at 60 seconds. And then we're just going to hit the mode button again. When this temperature gets at 340, you're going to see it beeping the way it does, because that's the start temperature or where, it's, where it's supposed to be at. You hear it beeping there. Now that it's set, we can go ahead and, it's telling us that we can go ahead and place our cup in here. Um, just so you know, we did this connect the top plate up here. This is the connection to it in order to connect the cup press. And you just connect it right there. When you do do this, use extreme caution because these plates do get very hot. Um, I'm going to put the cup in here. Normally you'd use a, um, a heat resistant tape to hold it in place, but for this demonstration, um, I'm just doing it like this without any tape at all. To your cup, press it into place. It locks into place. Come back over here and press this button right here to let it know that you went ahead and started it. It'll go up to um, the temperature will now start to rise until it gets to 355 degrees. And um, once it gets to 355 degrees, it'll um, start the countdown timer to go down to zero. The reason why the temperature is going down right now, you see, you see it actually going down is because the cup is actually cold and some of that heat's being transferred onto the cup. But you will see it will start going back up here in a second. Now that it's almost at 355, you'll see the countdown timer start. Once it hits 355, it usually goes a couple of seconds after it gets to 355, you'll see it'll start going down and it'll count down for a minute. And then at that point, your cup should be, the image should be transferred onto the cup. Almost done with the counter. When the counter is done, I'll just shut off the machine and then um, go and unlock the cup and pull it out so you can see. Just so you know, cups I've seen where cups like these uh, custom cups sell for about twenty dollars a piece. You can buy these cups for about a dollar a piece off the internet.
So, I mean, there's a huge markup on this when you guys decide to do uh, get to the cup making business. We'll unlock it. Be really careful. Just because it is so hot, I'm being really careful here. And you see how the image is uh, just in there. You might see a few lines in here, but that was more of my printer's fault. I have a bad printer, but yeah, you can see the image is in there really nice. Just set the cup off to the side and let it cool off for about 20 minutes before you try to touch it because it is super hot right now.